Welcome to a lesson on the division of sine fractions. Hopefully you already watched the video on the division of fractions involving only positive fractions. To divide two fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor. So if we have a over b divided by c over d, we can change the division to multiplication as long as we multiply by the reciprocal of our divisor, which is c over d. Notice here we're dividing by c over d, and then we're going to multiply by d over c. So for example, if we have negative 3 divided by 1 half, the first step would be to write negative 3 in fraction form. So we'd have negative 3 over 1 divided by 1 half, and then we convert the division to multiplication by multiplying by the reciprocal of 1 half, which would be 2 over 1. And now we can multiply like we normally would. So negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. So this quotient is equal to negative 6. However, just as when we were multiplying fractions, it is recommended that we simplify the common factors between the numerators and denominators before we multiply. So let's take a look at some more examples. For negative 3 eighths divided by 2 thirds, we'll write this as a multiplication problem by multiplying by the reciprocal of 2 thirds. And then for negative 3 eighths, I'm going to move the negative up into the numerator. I think it's easier to keep track of them when they're in the numerator. So we'll have times 3 halves. And now we want to see if we can simplify. We're looking for common factors between the numerators and denominators, and there aren't any here, so we can go ahead and multiply. Negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9, and 8 times 2 is equal to 16. One thing to be careful about here, you may have been tempted to simplify the 3's and the common factor of 2 here, but we cannot simplify until we first write the problem as a multiplication of two fractions. So the next example, instead of dividing by negative 33 tenths, we're going to multiply by negative 10 30 thirds. So we'll write this as negative 11 over 6 times the reciprocal of negative 33 tenths would be negative 10 over 33. Notice that 6 and 10 do share a common factor of 2. There are 3 2's in 6 and 5 2's in 10. And then also that 11 and 33 share a common factor of 11. There's 1 11 and 11, and there's 3 11's in 33. Now we can multiply, knowing our fraction will be in simplest form. To be careful of our signs here, this is negative 1 times negative 5, which is positive 5, and 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Now if we find this method of simplifying challenging, we can write the numerators and denominators in prime factored form, and I'm going to go ahead and show that. So starting with our multiplication problem, 11 is prime, so we'll leave this as negative 11, and then the prime factorization of 6 would be 2 times 3, the prime factorization of 10 would be 2 times 5, and then for 33, we'd have 3 times 11. So this method is a little bit more work at the start, but it is nice because you can actually see the common factors. Here we see 11 over 11 that simplifies to 1, as well as 2 over 2. And then watching our signs, this is negative 1 times negative 5, which is 5, and 3 times 3 is 9. So the result is the same. First thing we need to do here is write negative 4 as a fraction. So we can think of this as negative 4 over 1. So instead of dividing by negative 4 over 1, we'll multiply by the reciprocal. So this is going to be negative 25 over 60 times the reciprocal of negative 4 over 1 would be negative 1 over 4. Again, notice how I move the negative up into the numerator again. The only thing that's going to simplify here is that 25 and 60 share a common factor of 5. There are 5 5's in 25, and there are 12 5's in 60. So now we can go ahead and multiply. The numerator would be negative 5 times negative 1, that's positive 5. The denominator would be 12 times 4, which is equal to 48. And I'll go ahead and show the prime factorization method of simplifying as well. For negative 25, we'd have negative 5 times 5. For 60, we could write 5 times 12, 12 is 2 times 6, and 6 is 2 times 3. So we have a factor of 5, 2 factors of 2, and a factor of 3. 
times negative 1 over 2 times 2. And what we'll notice here is the only common factor is 5 and 5. So now we multiply everything back together, we'll have positive 5, 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 would be 48. And one more example here. Instead of dividing by negative 33 55ths, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So we'll have 6 over 35 times negative 55 over 33. Well, 35 and 55 do share a common factor of 5. There are 7 5s and 35, 11 5s and 55. 6 and 33 share a common factor of 3. There are 2 3s and 6, and 11 3s and 33. Notice how here we also have 11 over 11. That would simplify to 1 over 1. So this simplifies nicely. Again, being careful of our signs, we have positive 2 times, this would be negative 1. So we have negative 2, our denominator is just 7. We'll also show the prime factorization method. The prime factorization of 6 is 2 times 3. The prime factorization of 35 is 5 times 7. The prime factorization of 55 is 5 times 11, but we do have a negative. And the prime factorization of 33 is 3 times 11. So now again, we can see all the common factors. Here we have 3 over 3, that simplifies to 1. 5 over 5 simplifies to 1. And 11 over 11 simplifies to 1. So the numerator is going to be 2 times negative 1. Remember, these are simplifying to 1s. So we have a negative 2 over 7. Again, the result is the same. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.